Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today I have a pretty big grocery haul to share with y'all from Kroger. Um, I kind of like went on the Aldi app and the Kroger app and was comparing prices and Kroger had some good sales and plus some things that I needed like toilet paper and paper towels and I don't really care for the ones at Aldi. So I ended up going to Kroger and got some meat sales and things uh, that'll last more than just this week. Um, and I think I did it pretty good. I was right around $200 for everything that I'm gonna show you today. Um, we just got back into town yesterday from Indiana, made a meal plan last night. So today is our first full day back, Andy's last day off. So I just took Lily with me today to Kroger and we picked up our groceries for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the meal plan. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So we've got grilled cheese and tomato soup, a teriyaki sheet pan chicken and veggies meal, spaghetti, honey mustard pork chops and potatoes, calzones and salad, creamy chicken and noodles, and lemon pepper tilapia and veggies. Okay, here is everything that I got today at Kroger. We'll start over here with the produce. We got some little like petite medley potatoes. I wanted gold, but they were completely out of the gold. So we got the medley ones. Then these tomatoes had a coupon, made them $1.99. So we got those this week. These are actually like cherry tomatoes instead of grape tomatoes like I usually buy. We got a bag of mini sweet peppers. Lately, Lily's been loving the yellow and orange and those are the only ones that Elijah eats. So I happened to find a bag, with no reds in there. So they'll both eat that whole bag. Got some romaine hearts, some petite carrots, because these are the ones that Lily prefers when they're little tiny baby carrots. We got some broccoli, two cucumbers, three zucchini, some pretty green bananas, a big pineapple, this bag of Mexican style blend cheese, I think ended up being $4.99 after the buy five, save five sale and the coupon, so good deal on that the orange juice ended up being $2.99 with those sales so I got two of those I decided to try this carb master Kroger milk it's supposed to be like the fair life it's ultra filtered uh, ultra pasteurized lactose free milk so we're gonna give that a shot because it was a little bit cheaper I think it was like 50 cents cheaper so we got that to try I got three packs of sliced cheese we're gonna be having grilled cheese this week as you saw in the meal plan so I got some for that and then just like sandwiches and whatnot so we got Colby Jack aged sharp white cheddar and then some extra sharp cheddar the mozzarella string cheese this is 24 of them it was like $4.99 after all the sales and then this cracker barrel extra sharp white cheddar sticks um, I told Lily last time she wanted them that when they were on sale I would buy them and they were part of the sale today it ended up being $2.99 for this bag Usually it's like five dollars or something. So got those These yogurts part of the sales they ended up being 69 cents each So the kids each got one of these strawberry cheesecake ones to try. We've never had these These ones we've only had like the Chobani flips, but these are similar But these are Dan and light and fit and then the Oiko's cocoa almond chocolate remix that's the one that I got to try we got an 18 count pack of eggs hot pockets for Andy they were on sale for $1.99 so I got the ham and cheddar and the pepperoni and then ham these were two for eight so I got the black horse ham um, we're gonna open this one first though because these were on sale or on like markdown because they're close to date there's like 10 days left on this I figured we could eat nine ounces of ham before then, and this was $1.98. So this is what we're gonna eat first, and then this is backup. We got some Mexican style queso dip with jalapeno. So some cheese dip. We've got some rice left over from dinner last night um, that we're gonna eat this with, and like chips and salsa, and probably quesadillas, and do that for lunch. Found some markdowns. These little Simple Truth beef burgers. We've never tried them, but there's six of them in there, two pounds of meat for $4.68. I figured we could try it and see if it's any good. 
I got two things of the pork sausage to make Andy's breakfast burritos. Those were $2.50 each. This bacon was marked down again for $1.44. And y'all all said, go ahead and freeze it. So I got four packs to stick in the freezer. Then the ground beef, the 80-20 was on sale for $3.99. So I picked up three packs of that because we have no ground beef in the freezer. The mild Italian sausage was also on sale for $3.99. So I picked up two packs of that to throw in the freezer. Um, one is for a dinner this week. I think I'm going to use Italian sausage for spaghetti um, instead of the usual ground beef. Just kind of switch it up and then I'll freeze the other one of those. Got some like fully cooked chicken the southwestern style chicken um this it was 250 it's usually 549 figured that'd be good to throw in our quesadillas some smoked sausage i think these end up being 199 each for the eckridge um beef smoked sausage it's a pound i think no it's 10 ounces but i think the other ones are like 12 ounces so whatever but um i got two of them one is for a meal this week one will go in the freezer pork chops this is two pounds it was ten dollars um i think there's ten chops in there so i will split that up and that'll be two different meals i'll cook five one night put the other in the freezer and do that at a later date so a lot of this meat is not for meals this week it will carry over into the next week so it'll help me meal plan because i like to meal plan based on what i have in the freezer first find markdowns and then use those later to a meal plan so we got some cube steak for $7.42 and then some ribs this says $11.33 but it was like eight something after the sale because I think they were $2.99 a pound instead of $3.99 a pound so I got those got some Caesar dressing these keto cheese crisps and the cheddar flavor they had another one that had nuts in it but those didn't look good but I figured we could try these or Andy could try them he usually buys like those wisps um, but these were 92 cents, so I picked up two packages of them. I found a markdown can of hot fire roasted diced green chilies for 90 cents. We needed Taco Bell sauce. We needed salsa. And then I got a bunch of flour tortillas because I'm making Andy's breakfast burritos. So at least two of these will be for that, if not all three. Um, so $1.99 each. And then these little strawberry cream cheese bites they're like little turnover things um these were on clearance for 318 and lily wanted to try them so we got those got some soft wheat bread some sourdough bread these paint brushes were on markdown for 93 cents you can always use more paint brushes antibacterial soap for the bathroom they were out of the kroger brand so we just got the dial for 6.99 and then we needed toilet paper the Quilted Northern was part of the Buy 5, Save 5, making it $11.99, but then there was also a $2 off coupon, so I got it for $9.99. And then the Viva was $7.49, and then there was a dollar off coupon, so I got it for $6.49. And that is everything from Kroger today. Okay, as I said at the beginning, my total was around $200 for everything that I got today. Exact amount will be here on the screen. I think it was around 207 and some change, which I really don't think is too bad considering a lot of this is meat and stuff that is going to last a while and like toilet paper and paper towels. So I think it did pretty good staying in a reasonable amount, especially if you're going to Kroger and them having lots of crazy sales. There was so much more I could have bought, but tried to stick to what we needed and then meat markdowns. Those were my top two things to get while we were there. But that is going to be it for this week's grocery haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you shop at Kroger. I know some of you have it in your area and some of you don't, so I'm curious to know if you have it or a Kroger family store. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you'll have a great week and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!